it is a cookbook for a great cause. And here to tell us more about From Our Heart to Yours, we're pleased to welcome the publisher, Melissa Hart Priest. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, this is such a neat idea and such an incredible story behind it. Um, start off by telling us um, your inspiration behind creating this cookbook. The reason I decided to publish the cookbook was um, to dedicate it to my mom. Uh, she had a stroke, her first stroke, in December of 2008, and after finding out she had high blood pressure, and she was then put in Cardinal Hill on an overnight basis for three weeks for various um, therapies that she had to do to try to get better, and physically she got a lot better, however, her vision uh, never improved a whole lot. So now she is, her life is a lot different. She can't drive and do some of the things that she used to be able to do. So the inspiration was primarily her. And you've decided um, not only to honor her, and um, I know it was sort of a, a Mother's Day gift uh, to her and your grandmother, but you're also giving back to Cardinal Hill by making donations from the sales of the cookbooks, right? Yeah. my. They did such a fabulous job at Cardinal Hill. I decided that uh, I wanted to do a cookbook to honor my mom and the proceeds to go to Cardinal Hill. She wouldn't be where she is today if it wasn't for them and their hard work and dedication. So um, absolutely, the biggest reason I did it was to make a donation to Cardinal Hill. And you had a goal that you have far surpassed already, right? Right. The original goal was to sell 100 cookbooks. Um, my dad was a skeptic and thought that I might not even break even with the publisher, <laughs> but I sold a 100 cookbooks and um, had to reprint. We've sold 530 and have raised uh, close to $8,000 with a generous $5,000 donation from Hilliard Lyons. Wonderful. And um, putting this together with family recipes, what has been the best part about it for you? It's been hard to get the recipes as it was a secret to my mom and grandmother through the whole process, and I sold half of them without them knowing about it. But <laughs> A lot of the recipes are from our families and our friends, um, and it's just a bunch of our favorite ones. But the hardest thing was keeping it a secret from them the whole time. Well, now that they're out there and uh, the secret has uh, has been broken, uh, tell us about how folks can get the cookbooks if they want to support your efforts. Uh, if people are interested in getting the cookbook, all they have to do is just email me at work at mpriest at hilliard.com, or they can also call me at 859 514-6446. And I know it's not just the efforts of the cookbook as well. Um, you're also a, a big advocate for education and information about strokes. Of course, um, last month was Stroke Awareness Month. Um, what are some of the things that, that you hope folks will realize about strokes? I hope that it's, it's called the silent killer, and I hope that people realize that strokes can cause sudden death. But the biggest thing with strokes that's different from cancer is that when people get in remission from cancer, they typically live a, a pretty normal life. However, strokes, it's a long time thing for the victim and the family. Um, so I hope that people become aware, know to act quickly, and will read online um, at on some of the websites about how to prevent strokes and or what to do if someone has a stroke. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. Again, you've seen the phone number and the email address at the bottom of your screen if you're interested in contacting Melissa about getting one of these great cookbooks. And again, they're also for sale at the Cardinal Hill Bookstore so you can help support their efforts to help rehabilitate and go through physical therapy with so many people in our area. Thank you for being with thank us you. today. We will be right back with a check of your forecast. Certainly going to be a steamy week.